Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019 with the Rude Man. We're back on Shamrock Farms. And in the last episode, we did one harvest of a field. Um, we talked a lot about the farm. It's a very nice mod. It's a very good mod. Very pretty mod. Uh, but I, I did that field over there. I'm getting ready to harvest that field up there. But first of all, I took some of the grass fields and... I'm mowing and plowing them so I can get to working on uh, crops in them instead of grass. I don't need that much grass, and I've got maybe at least three to three to five fields that have nothing but grass on them. So I plowed this one up first, and we're gonna start working it, and then we're gonna plow this one over here next. Number seven was just a grass field. Number five is just a grass field. This one is the sheep pasture. I'm going to leave it alone for now. I did mow a little bit of it, but not, not on purpose. Uh, I'm using uh, what would some people would consider a kind of a cheaty piece of equipment right here to mow the grass because I'm in a hurry to get it done. As I mentioned in the last episode, these videos are made to supplement my uh, uh, subscribers that watch the farming end of my videos because I'm not here to live stream I'm on vacation I'm out of town so as you're watching this I'm not home and I don't have access to very decent uh, internet the condo that we own is uh, uh, it does have internet but it's not very reliable and it's certainly not good enough to uh, to live stream from so there's no way for me to live stream where was I going? I was going to empty this, right? Okay, we're going to save this grass. You know what I think I'll do with it? Is I'll put it in the silage silo to start it fermenting. Because we're going to need silage for making mixed rations. So let's put that in the silage silo. I know some of you are playing this map. I had some people recommend it to me in a live stream a while back. So I told him I'd take a look at it. I did and decided to play it a little bit. And it worked out great that I was on vacation and needed something to record. I have not actually recorded Farm Sim for the longest time because I've been live streaming it twice a week. So I didn't have a need to make recordings. The live streams that I make go right onto the YouTube page. So it's almost like a recording, just not as good a quality. Although this game doesn't really uh, record in very good quality. It's, it's choppy. I don't care what kind of equipment you've got. It always has been. This is interesting. There's no cab to go into. So when you go into the cab view, this is what you get. <laughs> I guess this is your cab view. If you watched the last episode, you'll understand why I said this might be considered a little, a little cheaty piece of equipment. And if you didn't watch the last episode, you're going to see me use it, so you'll know what I'm talking about here in a minute. I think I could just drive through this stuff. I, I didn't realize that until the end of the last episode that I didn't. You know, that I didn't, wasn't going to get stuck. To be honest with you, I thought there was a barbed wire fence in that hedge. But there isn't. You can just drive right through it. That makes think, life a lot easier. So this is field number five. This is the next one we're going to mow. And first of all, we need to drop the header. Turn it on. And now you'll see why I said this could be considered a little bit of a cheaty piece of equipment. This is, uh, uh, for what it does, it does a really good job. But you have to be careful because when the storage area fills up, it keeps cutting the grass. 
So you lose grass if you don't stop and empty it. So you got to be wary of that. I was hoping that, you know, with some equipment, like some of the combines, when the bin gets full, a beacon comes on. I wish it had something like that, but it doesn't. It'd be nice if it did. You just have to watch down below in the right-hand corner. And when you get it to 100%, you need to stop and go empty it. Well, you don't need to. Like I said, you can keep mowing, but if you do, you're going to lose everything everything that you do after it reaches 100%. And I'm hoping that the grass in the sheep pasture is going to grow back. All right, let me get this one little patch in the middle here. And look, we're 95% perfect. Perfect. Just the right amount. All righty, let's pick up the header, go take this and put it in, uh, oh, there's a wall there. I can't drive through that, I don't think. I can drive through the hedge, can't drive, oh, there's a fence there too. Oh, they made life a little bit difficult for me right here. Don't hit the sheep. No, no, no. All right, put the last load into a silage silo. I'm gonna put this load into storage. That way we've got a little bit of silage and a little bit of grass. I've got another grass or uh, field or two to cut. Um, and I'm waiting for the sheep pasture to see if it's going to grow back. If it does, then I can mow the cow pasture as well. Because I've got a huge cow pasture. And then I won't have to keep any of these fields as uh, grass. Oh, you know what? I just thought of something. In the last episode, I meant to put one in the silage thing. I did not. I put it. I put both of them in here. So we should have. We should have. A lot of grass. Oh, I didn't realize I'd done that. Yeah, we do. We've got a lot of grass. All right, I'll take a uh, hundred, about half of that. And uh, throw it in the silage maker when I get when I get my truck up here. And let me take a, take a look at the map again. All right, so uh, right, we've got this whole area up here is all grass. This all is a cow pasture, and you notice it is not a field. So we can mow all of that anytime we want if it grows back. Now this one right here, six, is an actual field, and it's the sheep. It's a sheep pasture. I actually could plow this up if I wanted to, but I don't think I will. I plowed this one up, and I'm going to plow this one up. But then we've got this one here and this one here that are both grass, we're going to plow those up as well. So then we'll have all of this farmland to actually do crops on. So that's the plan. So now I'm going to head to field number... Well, I don't know. Uh, it, was it five down there? Let's head through here and see. Okay, this is the sheep pasture. I think I just did. No, I did it already. 
I already did it. So we're going to move over to field number two. Oh, darn it. Okay, I, this is the one I did. I got confused. Now I got to find a way to get out of here without... Uh, there's a gate. All right, let's go through the gate. get my plow over here okay this is field number four it is ours as well so I'm gonna mow this but before I do I want to get that whoop turn that off I want to get that plow going so where's the plow let's get him into field number five and get that one plowed up Oh, there is a barbed wire fence there. Alright. Drop the plow. This is an actual field. So, we know where the border's at. As you can see, it's plowing on the field part, but not on the boundary of the field. So the outer boundary. This makes it easy. I don't have to worry about plowing something I shouldn't be plowing. This is a new tractor for me. There's quite a bit of uh, things you can change on it. The fenders, I put full fenders on both front and back. Uh, I tinted the glass slightly. And I put the European style flags on the back. Those square flags that are red and white, that's the European version. The American version is a little bit different. It looks more like a straight stick that sticks out. I'll be interested to find out how they go into this corner. They don't, that's good. All right, they don't go into that corner, right? I like that. The other thing that you can change on this tractor is all the lights. I showed in the last episode that it's got tons of lights on it. You can add these lights. The beacons, there's two kinds of beacons. There's lots of um, different uh, tire choices but you can see that there are tons of lights on this thing that you can put on there. Very well done mod, I like it. It is a large tractor. Sorry about that, I'm getting thirsty. I popped open a soda. I like the textures of this uh, plowed field. I like the textures. It just, to me, it just looks real, like real clot, clotty dirt, you know, that clings together. We used to uh, have dirt clod fights when we were kids. Painful, but fun. 
we throw dirt claws at each other. Sometimes they're like hard as a rock. When we were up on the farm. Sometimes when it was wet, they were soft and mushy, but most of the time a dirt clod <laughs> was, like, was like a rock. And we'd just throw them at each other. A lot of fun getting big bumps on your head. Red welts all over your body. But hey, it's your own fault if you can dodge them. It's kind of like dodgeball. We'd throw dirt clods and try to jump out of the way. And if you weren't very good at it, well, you might get a little hurt. Did I get that? Seemed like it skipped a little bit here, but maybe not. No, we got it. So I mentioned in a previous episode, the previous episode, that I was on a live stream one day a couple of weeks ago or a week ago, and I had a gentleman from Ireland that came in and asked me if I'd played this map. And I hadn't, but I told him I'd look at it, and I did. And I decided that it would be a very good map for me to make videos of while I'm on vacation. Or not while I am, but so that I had something to go up on my YouTube page while I was on vacation. And so, that's what I'm doing. Slow down, buddy. It's always better going downhill, isn't it? Well, so far, I'm happy with this tractor. It seems to do a very good job. If you can tell there's decent detail in it. Let me see something on this. Okay, yeah, see that, um, I think that's Russian, but I'm not sure. That's the, um, that's the plow. Let me, let me, uh, switch to the tractor. Fold tractor, what's that mean, fold tractor? Okay, that's just the, uh, those things. Open cover, is that a door? Oh, the open cover puts the steering wheel down, all right. Oh, it also drops the, uh, the armrest on the seat. Sweet. All right, that's cool. I was wondering when I went inside, I thought, wow, that steering wheel is quite a ways away. This is actually the first time I've used this mod. I've had it for about a week, but I hadn't used it yet. The farm that I am live streaming, I already have more equipment than I need. And I haven't had the opportunity to swap out tractors yet. So now that I've driven this thing, I think I might swap out. I think I've got a John Deere that I'm using I like the John Deere, but I, I might like this one a little better. Doesn't mean I can't have both tractors. I do have a couple of little tractors I could swap out because I was using the John Deere for a piece of equipment that it was struggling a little bit with. Be interested to find out if this one struggles with it as well.
Oh. There we go. All right, so now we got that done. We're going to move down to field four. If I can get out of here. Oh, there's a wall. Oh, man, it was going to climb it, though. <laughs> That's why the gate's open. All right, I'm going to pull this tractor in here. Hear that bell? I had a video that I made one time where the bell was ringing like that. And I got a, a, I got a copyright strike on me because somebody said they, they owned the sound of the bell. I hope I don't have that problem again. I have to be careful on this. I don't know if you noticed, but this thing... Oh, I'm losing grass. Darn it. See what I mean? Once it reaches 100, if you're not paying attention. But it looked like it was cutting my crop up there. Need to be careful of that, too. That would be a shame if that's what was, what was happening. I wonder what these gypsies are doing here. They're living in this caravan here, and they've got a bathtub that looks like they're using for some kind of a feed trough or a water trough. I wonder what they're doing. Remember, in the last episode, I told you that I had put uh, some of the grass that I had mowed into the silage silo, and then I realized that I did not. And so this time I am going to put this in the silent silo. This is Shamrock Farms. It's one of two farms on the map. I can't remember what the other one's called, shale water or something like that. Uh, one of them has uh, sheep and cows, the other one has pigs and chickens. Or pigs and horses, I can't remember. No, I think the horses are on this one. I think this one has cows, sheep, and horses, and the other one has uh, pigs and chickens lions and tigers and bears oh my all right i have several versions of us of uh, silos that make uh, silage i like this one because it gives you an extra uh 
thing that you can sell. You put grass or hay in here and it will make silage, but you also you get a, a digestate out of it, which gives you a little extra money as a side crop, if you will, or a side product. Besides the silage. And that sweet. Now, if I want to put any production on this field, I was a little disappointed in the fact that there's only one spot, and it's this one right behind me, that is flat enough to place anything on. Uh, the rest of it's pretty hilly, and I would have to use one of my fields to place anything on there. So I don't know if I'm going to try to put any kind of production on this map. Uh, normally, I would put something on it like uh, a whiskey factory or a dairy or something of that sort. In this case, I don't think that uh, it's a possibility because the ground is too hilly and you'd have to use one of your fields to do it. finish up this one. Oh, got some air on that. Whoa, really got some air on that one. All right, let's drop the header, start the mower up. We'll get this done and we'll move over to field number two. Yeah, I don't know. I, I wasn't really watching to see when this thing got full. So I'm not sure how much grass I lost. But I don't really care. It's not a big deal. There's grass everywhere. I won't have any trouble getting grass. Let's mow this while we're at it. If I mow that straw, if it'll take the straw up, I'm, I won't get it because there's grass in here. But I'm just curious if it mows that. I can't tell. Nah, I'm not close enough. That's good. That's good because I don't want to mess with that straw. Well, I don't want to lose the straw, is what I mean. Obviously, I want to mess with it because I want to put it in the storage. I'll need it for the animals if nothing else. And I need it for making. Uh, TMR. Raining again outside. We've had some rainy weather the last uh, week. Going into next week as well, I think. I'm full again. You know what? I don't care. I want to finish this up so I can go get the plow going out here. There's not that much left here. I just want to get it mowed up. I don't need to mow it. I could plow it under, but what the heck. What the hay? Right? Is that their house right there? No, that can't be. OK, 
Okay, I tell you what. I'm just going to pull this guy over here and park it for a minute and get that plow moving. What was this? Oh, I had this guy out for the trailer. Please start engine. We can actually drive this boat. I don't think you can steer it because I think it's on a... Uh, I think it's on a track, like a railroad track. I got that harvest to do too, but let's want to get these fields done here. don't have when I first looked at this map I I noticed that you know about uh, a good third of the fields on it were grass and I thought wow why would they do that and then I got to thinking about it well why not because you can mow it and get the grass off of it and then do what I'm doing here and then plant a crop on it um, a lot of times when you start a map it's got a crop you don't want on it so, in my mind, when you start a new map, it'd be great if there wasn't anything on any of the fields. And you just choose to put whatever you want on it. Same with the, with the uh, equipment. In, in my mind, uh, it would be much, much better for somebody like me that does things the rude man way uh, to, to give me a map that has absolutely no equipment on it and just give me the money and I'll buy my own equipment because the first thing I do when I get a new map is I sell all the equipment and then turn around and and buy back what I want the problem with that is I lose half the money because if I bought this uh, tractor here for you know uh, for 6000 I would only get 3000 when I sell it you lose half the money when you sell it. But, um, you know, that's what, if I was making maps, that's what I would do. I would make a map, I'd say, here's your map, here's your fields, put whatever crop you want on them. Uh, here's uh, a couple million dollars to buy equipment. And you, and you say, oh my God, a couple million dollars. A couple million dollars is nothing because a decent combine will cost you half of a million. You buy a couple tractors, there's another half a million. You know, by the time you buy just a starter set of equipment, you, you're into it a million, a million and a half, two million. I've actually started a farm with five million dollars before and still ran out of money before I was ready to farm because I didn't have all the stuff I wanted on the farm. That meant that I had to wait for certain things that I didn't need right away. The only thing I needed right away was a tractor, a combine, a plow, a cedar. And with that, I can I can plant a crop and harvest a crop. Uh, I can't pick up the straw. Uh, I couldn't bale the hay. So that's what I'm talking about: is uh, you know getting the starter equipment. And then, you know, as soon as you sell your first crop, you go buy the piece of equipment to uh, to pick up the straw or to or to mow the grass. You know, when if you don't have enough money to buy it, lease it. So you work the first set of crops with your minimum equipment, and then you sell it to make enough money to lease the rest of the equipment you need to do some of the other stuff you wanted to do until you've got enough crops set aside that you can actually buy the equipment. I've done that before. I've had people challenge me to, a, to a, a map to start off with only a certain amount of money. You could do it, but it's really hard. 
especially if you play it, this, you know, a certain way. Like uh, I normally play in hard. That means that when I sell a crop, I don't get a lot of money. Um, you know, when I when I harvest a crop, I don't get a lot of crop. If you play on easy, then that's different. That's another reason why I like this plow. I don't have to worry about flipping the plow at the end of the field every time. bigger than I thought it was. It seemed to take a little bit longer to plow than the other ones, but maybe not. Maybe it's just the shape of it. It's deceiving. But I'll tell you what, if I get a copyright on that bell, the first thing I'm going to do is come into this map and take that bell out. I'll take the sound file out. I did that on a map before. Uh, there was a uh, air balloon, and the air balloon was so loud. Every time it came over where you were working, I'd have to stop because you wouldn't be able to hear me talking. And so I went into the files, and I took that sound out. I didn't take it out that time. I just, I just reduced the sound level so you can barely hear it. tractor's doing pretty good pulling this plow and hitting up that hill. You can see it struggles just a little bit, but it doesn't, it's not bad. It's not bad of a struggle, but it is a little bit. It almost looks like it's spinning out just a hair, whatever a hair is. Goes really good downhill though. So, um, I have a subscriber named Scorpion. He sent me a couple mods the other day. One of them I didn't download it. It was. Uh, a mod that at midnight every piece of equipment is is repaired back to a hundred percent and uh, I didn't download that one we talked about it and decided that that was completely not right uh, I, I don't mind repairing equipment when it needs it it doesn't take that long it's not that hard My own mods that I do, uh, I generally will extend the life of the piece of equipment so that it doesn't need repairing as often. It's an easy thing to do because every mod I've got, including this one, I go in and remod it to do something that I want it to do that maybe the original mod author didn't put on here. It's like this plow. You take the plow and it only goes 12 miles an hour. Well, I go in and make it go 24. 
that's what I'm talking about. So I remod it to do something I want it to do. All right, got that one done. Now, how do I get out of here? How do I get in here? Is that just a hedge right there? I think so. I think we're almost to the end. We've got one more field that's this one here. And then we can start... Uh, we can start seeding our new fields that we just plowed. Um, I'm probably going to have to lease a forage wagon to pick up that straw because I don't have a picker upper. I do have a baler. I could bail it. God, I hate bailing though. You know what I've never tried? I do have a mixing station. I've never tried to throw a bale of straw in the mixing station to see if that worked. It could, I don't know, I've never tried it. If that's the case, that's probably what I'm gonna use the straw for. Maybe I should make a bale and throw it in there and see if that works. going downhill it picks up speed maybe I'll just go side to side now I'll have to deal with that hill well never mind it goes up both ways doesn't it That didn't help me much. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Tell you what, I'm kind of tired of plowing. But it'll be all done in a minute, and then I can start planting and harvesting. And now instead of two fields, I'll have more. What did that give me? Four more? They give me six fields? I can't remember. There's five and six. No? Ah, oh, I'll have to look at the map.
what I meant was, I mean, I, I have all the fields. I own them. It's just that there were only two that were uh, worked up for harvest of a uh, crop, uh, if you don't consider grass a crop. And it's hard to consider grass a crop. Uh, prices aren't that good for a harvest of grass, unless you make silage out of it. And even then, So I only had two fields that actually had a crop on them. The rest were all grass. As soon as I'm done with this, I'll take a look at the map. And we'll add up the fields I will now have crops on. Crops on, crops off. One more swipe, we are done. Alrighty, let's look at the map and I'll count these up, okay? We had, um, six is still a pasture and we're not gonna count that. We had one and three. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, we got six now, not including this one. I'll leave that in grass for now. I may think about that because I got all this grass up here. It's just that if I put a crop in here, then the sheep are going to be wandering around in it. That might not be a good thing. Anyway, I'm going to call it an episode here. I hope you had fun. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you see another one of these, it's going to be that I'll probably be home from vacation. Uh, if not, I'll see you next time I see you. Take care and take care of your family. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.